There we go. Yep. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Yes. What's up, guys? It's River Rat Productions, and in today's video, me and Christian are going to be going and fishing Fontana today. Hopefully, we can get on some good fish today. They should be pretty close to moving up shallow. The weather has been kind of a little iffy the past couple days. It's definitely been on the cooler side, but I definitely think the water temperature is probably going to be over 50 today, so it's definitely worth a shot. We'll just have to see what happens. I know the wind's supposed to be kind of bad today, so we'll see how that goes. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash the subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you guys join the community. We're on the way to 5K by the end of the year, so if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. On the last video, only 7.5% of you guys were subscribed. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. But anyways, guys, let's get into it. We made the drive over to Fontana Lake. It's always a beautiful drive. We got ready to launch the boat, and we took in some of the scenery, and we are ready to do some fishing. Me and Christian are here on Fontana Lake. Past couple times that I've come out here, really haven't had the best luck. I feel like we could do pretty decent today. It's been pretty cold recently, but the water temperature says it's pretty warm. What is it right now, Christian? Mm, 53. 53, which is not that bad, honestly. I'm throwing the jerk bait. Christian's throwing a Kitek Fat Swing Impact. It's a 3.8 inch, and it is, an, I can't remember exactly what color, but it's like a pearl. Yeah, it's like a pearl color. We imitate because the black, it's blue black herring and shad in here. Yep. So, we're just going to be trying that. We've seen a lot of fish on the fish finder. And I definitely feel like we're going to get some today. I have a good feeling. So, hopefully we can get some on a reaction strike from the drip bait. We'll just see how it goes. It's not supposed to be very warm today. I think it's supposed to be like a high of maybe like 51. So, it's not going to heat up too, too much today. But there's like hardly any wind at least right now so hopefully it stays like this and we can get on them pretty good they might be holding on to these logs and stuff too and these rocks for heat a little tackle change guys we're gonna try throwing the fluke on a jig head see how that does but hopefully this will work i guess we'll see <laughs> i guess we will see i think either way i think it's gonna be the ned rig or the so. ned weight i think so not they the could... rig but it's at least it's gonna have this this hook the action the fall of it yeah. Yeah. Take the crub. Oh, yeah, you're gonna go with the crub there. That might not be a bad idea. Honestly, I might throw a lipless. But I, I got thumped on this, I'm pretty sure. I don't see any fish on the fish finder. <laughs> I'm trying not to get up there too far. I'm trying to stay back a little bit. There has to be fish here. There just has to be. If not on this side, on that side. Oh. Did you saw that right? No. Oh, there's something there. There we go. Yep. Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. There we go, dude. Look at that. That's what we came here for, boy. All right, guys. Caught this little spot right here. I was flipping this fluke up against these rocks, having on a little jig head, and he was just sitting there. I think this might be close to my PB spot. I'm not really too sure. It's definitely probably a couple pounds, I'd say, but it's a nice little spot, though. So we're going to send him back on his way, get a weight, get a picture, and hopefully get some more. Gonna get this guy released. Put him on his way. Thanks, little buddy. 
goes. All right, guys. So new PB spot. That's awesome. Wasn't really expecting that to be honest with you, but glad that happened. So we were starting to get worried that we weren't throwing the right things. But that definitely answers our question that we are. And we picked to come to this rock face right here just because it has direct sunlight. The sun's like right here above me. So that's kind of why we picked to come over here. And I'm glad that we did because <laughs> that, was, that was a good fish. And this is the lure I'm throwing right here. It's just a fluke on a little jig head. I actually need to fix it real quick. But that is what got the job done. We really haven't came here too much during the winter time. So it's definitely a good confidence booster to catch a bass like that. Especially whenever the water temperature isn't like super, super warm. It is kind of warm here. It's like 53-ish degrees, I think is the water temperature right now. We got a couple hours left to fish and hopefully can maybe get on one more or a couple more. Hopefully a couple more. It'd be nice to catch our limit, but that is a good spot, that's for sure. And like I said, that would, that is my PB spot. The wind has kind of picked up a little bit since getting that one fish. But I still feel like we can get on them. Now that we kind of know where to look, maybe we can find a pattern. Hopefully we can get a few more bites on this. I feel like I've actually been getting bit on it pretty much like all day. So, hopefully... We can at least find a couple more like I was saying earlier. If we can catch our limit, that would be awesome, but we only have like three hours left out here. So we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. So the pattern that we're looking for today is basically where the sun is hitting the bank and if there's rocks. So, I mean, this isn't exactly ideal right here, but there might also be some fish stacked up here. So hopefully we can find one. That was definitely a nice sized spot though that I caught. Hopefully, we can find one that's even bigger than that. That would be awesome. That spotted bass was in very deep water whenever I caught him. I'm not sure how far down he was sitting, but he pretty much took it right as soon as it hit the water. Definitely feel like there might be some up in these coves. Christian was actually the one who kind of noticed that pattern, so maybe they'll be there too. But it's definitely a good confidence booster that this bait's working whenever it hits it like that and such a big one hits it. I'll have to lead the conversion, but I'm pretty sure that was my PB spot that I just caught. So that's definitely a plus out of today. All right, guys. So we went on down a little bit, really didn't have any luck down there. We kind of got blown away by the wind. So we came back to the spot where me and Christian had that luck earlier. It's definitely not as much wind. So hopefully there might still be some stacked up over here feels a lot warmer than where we were just at too so i feel like it might not be a bad idea i'd love to get christian on a good one but yeah we're just kind of targeting places where the sun's hitting and where heat can be absorbed like timber or rocks well guys we didn't have a like crazy good day like numbers wise but that was my personal best spotted bass so i'm extremely happy to finally get that broken it's only been like a year since I caught my last PB. It's definitely something nice to at least take away from this day, especially with how windy it got. That was the only one we were able to catch. Sometimes it's just like that. Normally I would try to at least have a couple of fish in the video, but since this one was my PB, it was a special case. If you haven't already and you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have that link down below too. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.